What's up YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader, also known as John, coming back to you with another video. And as you can see in the background, my original plan today was to do a video on my new Cobra Battle Android Trooper uh, figure subscription service, Inferno Bat, which is the one on the right here. And then the one on the left here is my carded, graded uh, 25th anniversary from 2008, uh, just the standard Cobra Bat. But uh, before I was getting ready to do the video, uh, the mailman arrived with a pretty little package from Mexico. That's right, Mexico. The land of pina coladas, hot chicks in bikinis, and Mexican bootlegs. And really the only one I'm interested in since I don't drink and since I'm married are the Mexican bootlegs. So I picked these up uh, from a seller uh, off Facebook. He is now a good friend of mine and he is the same gentleman that I bought the Mexican bootleg Bespin Luke Skywalker and the Bespin Han Solo from that were in a different video of mine. You can look it up on my channel. But I did buy these four from him and uh, he just uh, sent them overnight by DHL. Believe it or not, I got an overnight package from Mexico and it literally arrived in less than 24 hours from when I bought them. And I I got uh, four awesome figures here that I wanted to show you. Um, I kind of put them in the order of rarity. Uh, really, in terms of expensiveness or you know ha uh, value, uh, this Gamorrean Guard is is probably is easily the most expensive of this bunch. But uh, in terms of ones I've had the the most trouble finding, uh, I put them in rarity. So I, I went uh, left to right, most rare to least rare, and uh, I thought we'd just go through them real quick. Uh, before I package them up, I'm not going to be sending them into CAS anytime soon. I've had some major expenses come down the pipe, so I am on hold for a long time before I send any more packages in, unless I get lucky uh, for my birthday. So, anyway, so let's take a look at it. Uh, obviously, the first one on your left here is a Yoda, and this is a Mexican bootleg Yoda. Let's see if I can get it to focus. And as you can see on the top of his head there, he's got a little hole on there. And so what is that, pray tell? Well, this is a Mexican bootleg Yoda that is meant to be used as a necklace. And, uh, you know, so for kids who are playing with Star Wars figures, you could put a little rope through this hole here and, uh, and wear them around your neck. And so this came out in the 1980s. Uh, and this item is complete, believe it or not. Um, and I got it for a very good value uh, relative to where some of these others have sold. But uh, you can see his cape. He's got a brown snake and he's got the utility belt, the cloak. Um, very nice shape though, overall. Uh, but this is a Mexican bootleg from the 80s. And, uh, it also does come with his cane. So here is his cane, right here. So, and there's all kinds of different colors. I've seen different color variations for this. Um, I've seen orange snakes, red snakes, white snakes. And, uh, for the utility belt, I've also seen that in white. And for the cane, I've seen that in brown. Uh, but this, this cane is white. Uh, or it's just really, really heavily damaged, but uh, <clears throat> I believe it's a white cane. So that one is complete. Next, uh, we got another uh, in my, you know, I was calling them armpit spacer bootlegs, but really what, what the name of them is, according to folks online, is that these are called Extended Shoulder Series Mexican bootlegs. And there was a whole line of them. Uh, I've got a Klaatu, I've got the Han, I've got, um, and I've got this one. Uh, I think those are the only three that I have in the extended shoulder series. But very cool. Oh, the 9 num. I have the CAS graded 9 num uh, that I've already shown you. But this will be the fourth. Um, and this is white. There are a number of different colors for this Mexican bootleg Gamorrean guard. He's he's easily the most expensive of this group. There, you know, all of these extended shoulder uh, bootlegs are, are very pricey in general. But, uh, you know, it looks like a, almost like a direct mold of the Kenner product. Uh, it's just got these extended shoulders, which I've talked about in a different video at length. But uh, very cool figure nonetheless. All kinds of different colors. I've seen this in brown, black, red, uh, white, obviously, since you have it here in front of you. Uh, green. And so, you know, they, they made these in a bunch of different colors. But uh, this is the white one, and it is in awesome condition. Next, um, I've got another uh, Mexican bootleg, uh, Bib Fortuna. And I've already done a video on uh, one of these that I've already sent in to CAS for grading. But this is uh, another one that I have. Uh, these Mexican bootleg Bib Fortunas started coming out in the late 1980s all the way into the mid-1990s. The one that was in my other video was a lighter blue and it was also painted silver on the face and on the tentacle and on the hands. 
This one is just a, uh, it's also semi-articulated, so the arms do move. But it's a darker blue plastic, and, apparent, and it's unpainted. And apparently these are the ones that started in the 1980s. So I'm, whenever I do get the money together, I'm going to send this into CAS and, and label it as a late 1980s uh, version of, of the same figure. But, it, you know, if you go back and look at my other video, uh, you'll see that it's a much lighter plastic. It's a, this is a much heavier plastic than the other one as well. And, uh, but the, the, the blue color is a lot lighter blue. And, uh, you know, the hands and the face and the tentacles are all painted a bright silver. But this is unpainted. It's the exact same mold from what I can tell, but it uses a different kind of plastic and it is unpainted. So, uh, the seller, who is a very knowledgeable Mexican bootleg collector, uh, down in Mexico, he said that these are the ones that came out in the late 1980s. So, we'll see what CAS has to say about it, but... Uh, I thought, given the color difference, I thought I'd go ahead and pick it up, and it was not that expensive. I mean, it was more expensive than the other one I bought, but, uh, you know, it, it is nice, and I, I just thought, you know, given the color difference, it's, an, it's another nice variant to have. Uh, the last one is easily the least expensive and, and the most common. Um, this is a TIE Fighter Pilot. Let's see if I can get it to focus here for you. There we go. Um, this is a TIE Fighter Pilot, and these started coming out in the 1980s, this exact same mold, but they were black. Uh, they were also semi-articulated, like this one is. The legs do not move, but they were solid black with no paint. And they used a heavier plastic. This is like a little bit lighter plastic, and they are painted. And you'll see a bunch of different colors. I've got a red, a black, and now a blue one. And so these came out in the 1990s. This, these go for about 10 bucks, so they're not very expensive. But they're very cool looking, and I love the colors on it. Uh, but, you know, this is a 1990s. Uh, but it's the exact same mold. I mean, if, if you're getting one of these versus the 1980s, it's the, it looks like the exact same mold to me, but uh, the price is dramatically different uh, because it is a different type of plastic. So, uh, again, I didn't know any of this stuff three months ago. It's just, it's just a matter of asking questions to people online and all the cool forums that I've found. But, uh, you know, anyway, based on all the information I found, this one is a blue one. I've got a, I've got a red one on the way. I've got a black one in grading, and now I've got the blue one. So, uh, very cool. Very excited to have it. The black one that I have, I believe, is a 1980s. So, I sent that into CAS as a 1980s. It is unpainted, and it uses a different type of plastic that's much heavier. But uh, I, I thought since they came in today, I, I thought I'd show them to you before I ba uh, bagged them up and put them in my box of shame that uh, won't probably be touched for several months. But hopefully, I'll scrounge together some funds in the in the next few months to be able to send these in to get graded but they're they're all very very nice figures but i'm, I'm clearly i'm most excited about these two uh just given the rarity and how difficult they are to find so anyway thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions